If you clicked on this video, you probably want a Stream Deck, so you go out and you try to order one, and then Elgato's like, here, let me just shake you upside down and take all your money from you. Don't get me wrong, I love the Stream Deck, it's totally worth the money, and I'm not just saying that because I want Elgato to sponsor me, but how cool would it be if they did? I've always been of the mindset that if you're just starting out streaming, you should be spending your money on things that your viewers actually care about, and nobody cares about your Stream Deck, Eric. Of course, you could just use your phone and an app like Touch Portal, but you might already be using your phone as like a webcam or for reading chat or for calling people. I don't know. There's no one on the phone. I don't have friends. So let's turn this numpad into a stream deck. And no, I'm not just talking about using hotkeys in OBS. Hotkeys suck. They take up keys on your keyboard. You got to deal with conflicting keybinds. And really, there's just not a lot you can do with hotkeys. No, we're talking running full-blown macros for things like toggling filters, changing transitions, effects, delays. And what's more is that anything you press on your number pad is not going to conflict with any of the keys on your main keyboard. This video is sponsored by Nerd or Die. If you haven't heard about Nerd or Die, you haven't been watching my videos. Which is okay with me because I respect your time. Nerd or Die is a place where you can get a whole bunch of graphics for your stream, including icons for your stream deck or your fake stream deck, which we may end up using today. They hooked me up with a bunch of coupon codes for 50% off anything on their website. Link in the description box down below for that. But if I do run out of those codes, they're currently running their spring sale for 25% off. So head on over to Nerd or Die and upgrade your stream today or tomorrow. I don't know, whenever you want. Okay, so what are you gonna need? I, what's on my script? First, you're gonna need a spare keyboard. Any keyboard will do. You could use something small like a number pad. You could use something large like a full size keyboard, or you can use this masterpiece right here. Am I right? Don't worry if the spare keyboard has the same keys as your main keyboard because we're gonna set it up so that your PC knows which keyboard is which so you don't have any conflicting key bindings. If you want, you can use your main keyboard too. It just means that for whatever key that you bind, you're gonna lose the primary function of that key, but it's gonna work just the same. As for the software, you're gonna need a couple programs. The first program you'll need is Noobs Commander, which is this program that some loser on the internet made. Wait a second, that's me! Noobs Commander is a program that I wrote that allows you to create scripts to control OBS. And these scripts are going to be the things that allow you to toggle filters, change transitions, delays, all that good stuff. I made a video talking about it a couple months ago, you should probably watch that first. But just to get you up to speed, all the scripts are in these tiny little VBS files, and all you have to do is double click it in Windows to run that script. Now obviously, you don't want to double click it, that'll be stupid, so we're going to set it up so that you can run these VBS files using your keyboard. So we're going to need some kind of software to run these scripts. If you have a fancy gaming keyboard, you may already have something like Razer Synapse, which has built-in macro functionality. So you can use the macro keys on your keyboard to launch these VBS files. However, I'm going to assume that you didn't just spend $200 on a keyboard just to do this because... That doesn't make any sense at all. No, we're going to be using something called HID Macros, which will allow you to set up any key in your keyboard to launch any program that you want, including these scripts that we create in Noobs Commander. Now, you could use Auto Hotkey, but Auto Hotkey isn't able to determine which key comes from which keyboard. HID Macros can. This is really important because you want to make sure that if you press a one key on your numpad, it's not going to conflict with the one key that's on your main keyboard. I've left links down below for everything you're going to need, as well as some affiliate links for some cheap numpads that you can get on Amazon. Look, I know you guys could have just searched for it yourself, but I need to milk as much money out of you guys as I possibly can. All right, so let's start by creating the scripts to control OBS using Noobs Commander. Now, as I said, I already have a full video on Noobs Commander, so I'm going to keep this part brief, but here is my whole OBS setup. Now, first of all, don't be intimidated by all the scenes that I have. It's not that complicated, I promise. Also, shout out to all these people on the right here. Yeah, shout out to you, Joe Gaming Official. We're gonna keep it really simple for now. Let's just create two simple scripts. The first one will change my scene to my webcam scene like this. And then the second will change my scene to my gameplay scene like this. Okay, I don't know what happened when I finished this then, but 
Basically, we're gonna create the scripts using noobs commander. So you just open up noobs commander and then we're gonna add a scene command and we're gonna change our scene to our webcam scene. Then all we have to do is we have to click the export button to create the script and we're gonna save it as any name that we want and we're just gonna call it webcam and save it. And then if we go to where we save that script, you'll see two scripts here. You'll see a bat file and a .vbs file. Don't worry about the difference. I explained that in the noobs commander video, but we're just gonna delete the bat file because we don't need that. We only wanna deal with the VBS file. Now, if I double click on this or press enter, you'll see that it changes my scene to my webcam scene. Now we just have to create the second script exactly the same way. So we'll go back here and then we'll go back into noobs commander and this time we're gonna switch the scene to our FPS scene, which is my gameplay scene. And we're gonna export this again as a separate script and we're gonna call this uh, gameplay and save that. So now we should have two scripts. The first is our webcam script. So if we execute that, it will switch our scene to our webcam. And if you execute the gameplay script, it will go back to our gameplay scene. Now that we have our two scripts, Next step is to take those scripts and then bind it to keys on our numpad. By the way, if you can see that my eyes are red, I haven't been smoking weed between takes. It's just 5.30 in the morning. Anyway, so go ahead, download HID macros, link in the description box down below, and then just unzip it to wherever you want. Then launch HID macros. Now, the first time you run it, you may get an error. So just run it as admin just for the first time. After that, you can just run it as normal. When you open up HID macros, it's gonna look a little bit crazy, but it's not that complicated. On the left side, you're gonna see a list of your macros. So if you just click on new, it'll create a new macro, which you can just rename to, I don't know, rename it to webcam, for example. And then underneath that, you'll see a scan button. Just click on that and then hit any key on your numpad. What you should notice is if you press a button on your numpad and then scan again and press a button on your keyboard, it's gonna list the device in the left-hand field. And you'll notice that the device name will be different for your numpad and your keyboard or any other device that you're using. So now HID Macros knows I've pressed a one and it's coming from my numpad and not my main keyboard. Now, what do I do? Underneath the radio button, click on run application and then search for the webcam script that we created earlier. Now for your gameplay macro, you can do exactly the same thing. So just add a new macro, name it gameplay, and then click scan. And this time you're gonna hit a two on your numpad or whatever button that you want. And then under run application, search for that gameplay.vbs file. And that's about it. It should just work immediately. You shouldn't need to do anything. So now if I hit a two on my numpad, it's gonna switch to my gameplay scene. And if I hit a one, it switches back to my webcam. But if I hit a one on my keyboard, it doesn't do anything because, well, in my case, it's not plugged in. But let's just say it was plugged in. Uh, if I put a one on this keyboard, it would just register as a normal one. So that's really cool. But let's just say for instance that you just have one keyboard and you wanna use keys that are on your keyboard. Here's a really quick tip. What you could do is you could actually just use the numlock key on your keyboard to activate like a second layer for your keyboard. And so what I like to do is I activate the numlock and that will use the directional navigation buttons on your numpad instead. And I map all of my keys to that layer. So if I still wanna use my numpad as an actual numpad, then I just disable the numlock. And then there I can use my numbers as just regular numbers. Now, of course, I've just shown you guys really simple examples like changing scenes, which I really just could have used hotkeys to achieve. But because we're using noobs commander, we can do crazy things like or we can do things like the instant rewind effect which i covered in this video or we can do things like my famous into the void effect really anything you do in noobs commander you can just run from your number pad but uh yeah now our numpad is fully functional as a poor man's stream deck all that's left to do is to slap on some custom icons onto the numbers so that i know what each button does so what I did is I went to our sponsor, Nerd or Die, and I downloaded a bunch of icons from there, printed it out, and then I went through the meticulous process of cutting out the little squares and pasting them into the numpad. Yep. Yeah, okay, can we just pretend that I did it so I can, you know, finish this video? 
But uh, yeah, now you've successfully turned your numpad into a Stream Deck. Now, of course, a Stream Deck does way more than just control OBS. Like, for example, you can actually control Twitch chat from a Stream Deck, so you can do things like clear chat or activate sub only mode or activate slow mode. You're not gonna be able to do any of that using this method, but if you guys know of a way to control Twitch chat using HID macros or anything similar like that, please let me know because I'm still trying to figure that out. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. As always, links in the description box down below for the Discord if you want to talk to thousands of other Twitch streamers and just get some help there. Also, I stream three nights a week on Twitch, so come by, ask me any question. We're always doing just chatting. It's a fun time. Anyway, I'm going to go and get some food because I'm really hungry. Not because of the munchies, okay? But because I'm hungry. And then I'm going to go to bed, all right? Peace out. See you guys next week.